Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I had a video that I was gonna release, but all this stuff that's going on with Russia and Ukraine, uh, I'll release it later, or maybe not at all. This is kind of just raw thoughts. There's just something about war and death that puts everything else into perspective. Uh, I actually had the honor of going to Kiev, or Kiev, Ukraine, a couple years ago and got to talk to several church leaders and thousands of disciples up there both from Ukraine and Russia and other parts of Eastern Europe. Man, what incredible disciples. I mean, so humble, just want to learn. Um, very loving, very hospitable, and it was eye-opening. I've never been in Eastern Europe before then, and it is vastly, vastly different. And <laughs> you can definitely tell that it was under communist control at one point. Um, so I'm praying for the disciples there. Uh, some of you may know of Sean Wooten, uh, so praying for him and his family. Uh, there were some great disciples that I met from Odessa, which was uh, struck by Russian bombs and missiles. Uh, seeing these videos today of tanks going throughout uh, Ukraine, helicopters, it, it's just crazy hearing that people are hunkering down and going in tunnels and stuff. Uh, it's terrifying. So um, let's pray for the disciples there. Let's pray for peace. Let's pray for those who are losing their lives. It just really makes you grateful for what we have. And the truth is that, that this could happen to any of us. It may not be an invasion from another country, but and death is right around the corner for any of us. We are not promised tomorrow. So make the most of the opportunities that you have. Love those around you. Be kind to everyone you interact with. And cherish these gifts that God has given us. So join me as I pray. I'll be doing a fast for uh, those involved and those directly affected by this. God can work good in this situation. I don't know how. I know that people will be praying for him. I've seen news organizations and people just saying, hey, we're praying. Obviously, during times of war and disaster, that's when a lot of people turn to God. So uh, God will draw people to him through disasters. If you do happen to live in Ukraine, praying for you, we're with you. Stay strong. So I hope you guys are doing well. Till the next one. Peace. Yeah.